If there's one thing I love, it's the sight of blood. And in Diablo 4, there are rivers of it. Show me your worst endgame death with hashtag Diablo deaths, and you might get a eulogy from yours truly, telling the world that you went out like a hero. Or a chump. What year are we in? Hi everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome back to another video. And today, I would like to ask the question, is gaming finally beginning to heal? Now the short answer is no, but there are small victories every now and again that we must celebrate, this being one of them. So there I was the other day, scrolling through the Twitter feed, trying to kill 10 minutes here or there, and I came across this smoking hot goth chick. And I said, you know, I've seen this chick before. Who is she? So I continued watching the video, slowly reading the caption, and it turned out to be a promotion for Diablo 4, and the smoking hot goth chick in the video turned out to be Megan Fox. And it's like, holy shit, me and Megan Fox go way back. I can still remember watching the original Transformers movies in 07. I mean, shit, she was like in her early 20s then, <laughs> cleaning the truck, riding the motorcycle. I mean, she was fine as hell. She still is fine as hell. And then, of course, a few years later, who could forget Jennifer's Body, the horror film where she was the lesbian vampire succubus. <laughs> so this uh, brought a lot of memories back to me seeing this, this ad for Diablo 4. And I'm all for it, man. Like, where are all the hot chicks? Where are they all gone? Like, we already talked about this with G4, how they did the, the failed reboot there, got all these fucking SJWs and woke people there that went under. Like, remember back in the day when... Fucking Sarah Underwood. Does anyone remember Sarah Underwood, the Playboy Bunny? She was on G4. You had uh, with IGN, you know, uh, what was her name? Jessica Chobot. We had all these, these hotties, and they all disappeared. Like, what the fuck happened to them? So finally, the gaming industry can slowly heal just a little bit with Megan Fox gracing us with our presence. And you know what? I'd want, <laughs> I'd want her to read me a eulogy. Uh, that's for sure. So anyway, um, let's take a look at some of the comments because... The gamers, the real gamers get it. it. It's these fucking fake fans, these fake fucking gamers, these parasites that just got in here fucking everything up. Like, with Forspoken, how come we couldn't get Megan Fox as the main protagonist in, For, in Forspoken? Give me, like, a big titty blonde as the protagonist. This fucking Forspoken bullshit. I mean, it's unbelievable. So let's take a look at it. I mean, god damn, dude, look at her. <laughs> I love the realm of people. If you go to Megan Fox, well, let's just go here real quick. If you go to her page, she hasn't posted since like 2013. Lover, healer, and mother. <laughs> so, and she's not following anybody, but 1.3 million followers. And, and look, <laughs> January 9th, 2013. Five days on Twitter, I get to discern its purpose. Why would they tag her? She doesn't post shit. And also, just in case anyone's wondering, she's 37 years old. MILF material. My goodness. So, <laughs> the milk's gone bad. <laughs> That's a challenge. <laughs> Time to end it all so Megan Fox reads my eulogy. Here's like an e-thought though, so I don't know about that. So here's some of the the, um, the true gamers. Yes, bring sexy hot women back for marketing. This is what we want. Look at all those likes. Let's give it a like right there. I mean, this is, this is what we know. Uh, this is gonna be fun. A fine way to salute the fallen. Yep. Amazing. Win marketing. I'm going to buy this game now. Yeah, I, I'm asking this question now to my subscribers. Would I like Diablo 4? And if you're a new viewer, I mainly play JRPGs, so I've, I've never played a Diablo game. Would I like it? I have no idea. I think it's a dungeon crawler, isn't it? Maybe I'd like it. Smart marketing. Love it. Daily Diablo win. Fire! I mean, these guys all get it. Suddenly, I want to play Diablo. <laughs> so, they got it. And that's the thing, too. Like, for as much as a win as this is, isn't Blizzard fucking woke as hell? <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> isn't Blizzard woke as hell? All right, let's see. Let's see the quote tweets. That'll tell us what's going on. So there's like a thousand quote tweets. What is this? Look at this. Blizzard using mobile game and tier sexuality to promote their newest game after censoring anything vaguely sexual in their biggest game because of a then. Okay. I thought this was sort of being like SJW bitching about how um, 
Megan Fox too sexy. Yes, Blizzard's woke as fuck. So it is kind of strange that they'd get Megan Fox with her tits, like her fucking titties pushed up out in the open for us um, when they, they're woke and they had their sexual harassment nonsense, but who knows? All right, so yeah, these people are doing that. I mean, I'll, see, I don't give a fuck. I don't play Blizzard games. I've never played Diablo 4. I've never played any Diablo games. I'm just here because Megan Fox is fucking sexy. That's all I'm here for. Look at this. Look at the see-through dress. Oh, my God. I'm about to bust it out right now. <laughs> sexy woman back in marketing. This can't be. Is it the early 2000s again? I wish, man. We, we must go back. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this video was. I just felt like doing something fun for the channel. So hopefully you guys can have a good laugh at me or with me, whichever you prefer. Uh, you want to call me a, a misogynist or an incel, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Everybody have a great day and peace out. And I'd smash Megan Fox. Absolutely. 99.